Hi, Deirdre here. I uh, just want to tell you about Saturday Arts Club coming up in Wexford Arts Centre on Saturday the 7th of November. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be keeping with the autumnal theme that's been going on the last few weeks and we're going to be working with foliage again. What I'm doing this time, a lot of the leaves have got a little bit too crinkly at this stage, they're hard to work with. but if you look, if you've any kind of open spaces, parks or anything around you, or maybe if you have a lot of greenery in your garden, you'll find that there's loads of foliage, leaves and things that have loads of texture on them. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for textured surfaces that we can work with. What you'll find in a lot of instances is that although the front of the leaf is what we normally look at, the back of the leaf is actually the, the one that normally has the most interest from a texture point of view. It's where the veins show through a lot more. So I've collected a mixture of ferns, different shaped leaves. A lot of them are what would be just growing wild. And that's why if you, if you don't have this kind of greenery in your garden, if there's a local park or a little wild area somewhere where you can even just off this the uh, off a little pathway or whatever that you can reach into. Obviously, if it's somebody else's land, be very careful and ask for permission. So what we're going to be doing with these, we're going to be doing a mixture of using different methods, different ways of actually capturing the leaf. What I did with this piece here, it's just a bit of ordinary thin cartridge paper, the kind of paper you put through a, a, a printer at home, a photocopier. And what I did, first of all, was I did rubbings. So using the textured part, I was able to put the paper on top, get a black oil pastel and rub it over the leaf. And that way I captured the black piece here. And then I simply just paint it over it. So that's one way of doing it. I'm just using watercolour paints, anything at all, a poster paint, any, anything that you have that you can mix with loads of water for doing it. So that's that type of method. Another way of using the foliage is to actually use it as a mark making tool. So in this instance, I've taken the back of the leaf, I painted it, painted it with a lovely kind of rustic orangey colour, and then placed it on a sheet of paper. I put another sheet of paper on top of it and used a rolling pin. And what I was able to produce was something really delicate like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing on the 7th of November. I hope you can join me. And um, it's suitable for children from age four to 12. Uh, the price is five euro, but it's five euro per, per household. So if you've a number of um, siblings who are or cousins or people who are together in a support bubble um, and you want to bring them all along, please feel free to do so. So half 11 to one o'clock, Saturday the 7th of November. Hope to see you there. Thank you so much.